Twins are enough to keep both hands full. Today, Brianna left me with the twins to do our big grocery store shopping trip. And it turned out differently than I thought, though it probably turned out exactly how I should have expected. It's Monday, we're starting off the week with a bang. Well. All right, do you want me to grab him or you got him? I if he's him. fussing, I'm gonna grab him. But pat oh. his back. I don't think he's hungry and you've got Miss Truly and she's sleeping like a baby. I think he still wants to sleep because it's not quite time yet, but we'll feed him really soon. So it's daddy, the boys, and little girl Truly. I'm gonna clean the house this morning. Bree's doing our big every two week grocery trip. And then hopefully when she gets back, we're gonna have a productive work day, get the groceries put away, and then I'll go down and work down the hill. I think they're hungry. It's almost 10 o'clock. Uh, so we're gonna get bottles ready and feed the munchkins. You're like a pro. You know exactly what to do. Good job. So how are these babies doing about, gosh, how long has it been? Almost eight weeks since they, almost two months since they came home. They're doing amazing. Here's your bottle, Biggie. Here's your bottle, Biggie. Yeah. I know, you've grown into such a strong young man. This is the sweetest thing in the world. Sweetest thing in the world. Well, it's not as sweet as nursing, but it's a sweet experience for me. Truly's bottle's warm, so we're switching out to feeding Truly. Do you want me to do it, or are you gonna do it? I can't. Okay. They're so good at this stuff. So Justice is gonna give her her, her bottle once he gets in position. I think she's talking to you is what she's doing. Hi. I'm actually going to grab Truly and do her bottle so Justice is free and can go outside. Okay, hopefully we're set up for a little bit of a nap. I don't think she's, she's ready for a nap. I think she wants to hang out now. She's just talking. But bro, I think he's tired. Interesting. Here you go. Uh, guess what time it is again? Somehow, we... We've been blowing leaves outside, cleaning in the house, loving on babies, and they're hungry again. Okay guys, thanks for holding them. It's time to eat, I'll take over, okay? Being a mom, well, not a mom, of course, stay-at-home dad on any given day is quite a bit of work to get everything done and it requires a lot of organization. So we finally got some lunch on the table. I'm gonna take the babies back over. They were holding them while I was making lunch and we'll keep rolling along. All right, nice work guys. Many hands make light labor. Okay, a congratulations first. Congratulations to all the folks who won either one of our birdhouse Christmas tree decorations, which my brothers and I made by hand, or one of these sets of beautiful macrame placemats. Oops, <laughs> that's the side that my kids spilled spaghetti sauce on. That's going in the wash. And these do wash well. This one's been washed many times, uh, how many times? Four or five times already, and it held up really well. 
look in the video description and see if you see your first name and last initial so you'll know you're a winner. But we also have emailed you a personal email to say, hey, you won. Here's how we're gonna send you your placemat or your birdhouse. Second of all, if you want to buy a birdhouse, there's a few available. I'm just being honest with you. I'm, this is not a sales gimmick. They're literally gonna probably all sell today. So if you really want one, get in on that quickly because they will be gone. Third, these beautiful macrame placemats are available as of today. And there's two cool things you need to know. Number one, there's a 10% discount available. When you look on the Amazon listing, there's a little checkbox. It says 10% discount. Click that checkbox. The first 30 people who order a set of placemats and send us a picture of the placemats on your table are gonna get a free birdhouse. There's also contact information down there for those people who want to try to get in and get the free birdhouse with their purchase of placemats. Details in the description, check it out below. <laughs> well, the day, surprisingly, is gone. We're coming up here on the shortest day of the year and it's five o'clock and it's starting to get dark. The sunset time is 5.15 or so. The boys and I have been at the house all day doing cleanup, baby care, while Brianna went on our grocery expedition, the big one, the twice a month trip. And so we are getting out of the house on a short evening walk to get some wiggles out because we're all full of wiggles. If you think I have some sort of agenda in this video, like I had a plan for it, you'd be completely mistaken. But why do I just keep pushing videos out? Well, it's honestly because that's how we succeeded in the beginning was we just told the story that we had every day. We, that's really what we did. It was Hi, Dad. very far from contrived. Hey, buddy. The other reason though is Putting videos out right now equals income for me. So I have to keep plowing along and I'm teaming up with my brother to edit videos. Okay, you ready? You think I can hit it from here? I can't, I can't even see it. it. Is it still there? That Let's go see if I got it. <laughs> well, I knocked it off. It could, I could have hit the wood below. All right, now can you find it? Oh, I don't think I hit it. Did I think I hit it? low. Did you break it or something? No, I think it fell off. Look right around it. We'll okay. Stick it into your door. A little bigger target, but I can actually see it in the dark. All right, guys. Get behind me. Hey, who's this? Who's hey guys, get well behind me. There's a fire. Come back. Dad, can I see your next target? What is it? It's just a piece of wood painted with a vector. Yeah, put it on top there. Did I get it? Yeah. In the center? No. Oh, man. No. Bring it down. Show it to me. Here, hold it up. Oh, That's man. the bottom. No, was that the bottom? So I sh yeah. I'm shooting slightly low. Okay. Where did I hit it? All right. Definitely I was aiming for just in the middle of the orange block. Not a perfect shot. Pretty good. Pretty good at about 25 yards. Not great, but it's, it's not perfect. It's a quart, it's a quarter inch low. Well guys, we're gonna put this gun away for now. Um, 
but next time we get it out, I'll have you guys shoot when it's more light. This is the Savage Rascal, and it's hands down the most fun gun I own, even though it's just a tiny little thing dwarfed by this crazy scope I have on it. Oh, but the kids have learned a lot on it. All right, let's go home, bud. Grace, thanks for making the zombies. It's turned out really good. Good. Alright guys, thanks for joining us. Daddy took on twin care for most of the day and it was super sweet and super fun, but a ton of work. But what did I expect? That I would get anything else done taking care of the twins all day? Mm. Alright, see you soon. Bye.